Hello year ones, it's lovely to see you again. This is Mrs Lang here and we're going to continue our RE lessons for this term. Now first of all, I wanted to see how much you could remember about what we've been learning so far. So I've got some questions for you. So here's the first question. Which religion have we been learning about this term? Remember what it's called? name is Islam and we have found out that there are millions of followers of Islam around the world including some in the UK and that includes some who live in South End. What are the followers of Islam called? Now that's a different name. It begins with an M. They're called Muslims. Did you get it? Right. Muslims are what we call the individual people who follow Islam. Now, I wonder if you can remember who the founder and leader of Muslims is. We found out some stories about him. There was one about a cat. There was one about a camel. His name is Muhammad. And he lived 1400 years ago. And the stories that he told and the wise words he spoke and the way in which he wanted people to lead better lives inspired many people to follow him. And they followed him then and more and more people have followed him since then. So that, as I said, there are millions of people who follow Muhammad today and would call themselves Muslims. Now we also found out about the five pillars of Islam, the most important things that Muslims believe that they must do during their lives. This is what they follow. So we found out that they must believe in one God called Allah and they must pray to Allah five times a day. That's the name of their God. They need to also help people who cannot help themselves. Poorer people, they give money to help them. And they fast, that means they don't eat during the day, and during the month of Ramadan, which we'll find out a little bit more about later. Today, we're going to talk about Pillar 5, because if they are able to do this, then every Muslim must go on a special journey to the city of Mecca at least once in their lives. Now usually a Muslim would go to a local mosque to worship God. A mosque is a place of worship. A Christian place of worship is called a church. A Muslim place of worship is called a mosque. This is a big mosque in the U UK. This mosque is one that is in Turkey because it's a little bit different. This one is in Saifend. The mosques in Saifend are converted from other sorts of buildings. So this one is um, a local mosque. Now some of the children in our school might go to this mosque or one of the others in Saifend. Right. Now, inside the mosque on a Friday, Muslims will pray. Right. You can see here they are praying face down, worshipping and honouring God because it's very important to show respect to him. So this is what will happen inside a mosque. Um, this is a very big and crowded mosque. Not all of them have as many people as this attending on a Friday. But some of you might go to a mosque in South End and do something like this. Right. Now, now, children, today I said we were going to learn about the Hajj. Now, the Hajj is a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage is a religious journey that people undertake. It's likely to be to go to somewhere special and there they will worship their God. 
Now, Muslims will go to Mecca. Mecca or Makkah is the name you might remember of the town where Muhammad was born. And that is in Saudi Arabia, which is one of the Arab countries. So it's quite a long way from here, um, Great Britain, but people will still go. Now, you might know somebody who's been on the Hajj. Some of you will go on Hajj one day. And it's a special time and all Muslims are expected to go on to a Hajj at least once in their lifetime, if they can. And let's, so let's find out a little bit more about that. So this is the position of Saudi Arabia in the world. And this is where Mecca is in Saudi Arabia. Now at this point, children, I'd like you to stop my video and to have a look at the BBC video that is attached on your remote learning. It's called A Trip to Mecca and I'd like you to watch that and then I'd like you to come back to this place in the video here. Well, what a lovely experience that young man has had on his journey to Mecca and how excited he was to be able to tell his mum all about it. And it's kind of like a family holiday for him, wasn't it? But with a special meaning, a special purpose. I've also attached another video that you can watch of what goes on at Mecca. Um, that's on the remote learning um, list. And you can have a look at it if you want to find out a little bit more about what happens at Mecca. So this is the most holy place that the Muslims will attend in Mecca. And you can see the Kaaba in the middle, the black buildings, the really holy place. And as you will have found out, they walk around the Kaaba seven times all together. And you can see there's thousands of people there doing the same thing, all worshipping God and fulfilling their Hajj, making sure that they are doing what God wants them to do on their pilgrimage. Now I've attached a sheet for you to do some writing on, or I'd certainly like you to think about the questions that are on it. So I wondered why have all these people come to Mecca? It's a lot of people, aren't there? I wonder what is happening in the picture. There are lots of people doing a certain thing, aren't there? And then the last question so what do you think it would be like to be there? Well, I think it would have been amazing to share that journey and then to share that experience with so many other Muslims who all believed in Allah like me and to be able to experience worshipping Allah together. So it had been a lovely experience, a once-in-a-lifetime experience that you'd remember for the rest of your life. You'd have been looking forward to it and you'd be very excited to be there and very grateful that you'd had the opportunity to go afterwards. Well, that's the end of our lesson today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you are learning that whatever the religion is that we are learning about, we are finding out about pe how people try to lead good lives and to learn how to be better people. Goodbye for now, children.